Hello? Anybody in there? Mateo, say hola. Hola. Mateo and I want to make a big announcement and he wanted to introduce you to his new amigo and that is Pablo. Say hello Pablo. Pablo is very sleepy. He's so sleepy. <laughs> Are you guys brothers? Say hi. You say hi to the people of YouTube. They might be long lost brothers. Say hello Pablo. Are you falling asleep your first time on camera? Mateo, wake him up. <laughs> He's very sleepy. It is true that Mateo has a brand new little brother. We adopted Pablo about a month ago and we've been giving him time to kind of settle in, letting him and Mateo bond and just let him explore his brand new life. Now Pablo's adoption story is a whole saga. There's a whole bunch going on with this little guy and we're gonna tell you all about it. But first, let's just do a little montage of the last month together. And now the real big announcement is over the last month, Mateo, Pablo and I have been able to discuss some business strategies and we decided we are gonna be opening up a mezcal and tequila company called oh. Dos Hermanos Agave. And it will obviously be Mateo and Pablo on the cover. We're still working out the details and sourcing from Mexico, but um, time, will, time will tell. Pablo and Mateo's tequila company, yeah. Dos Hermanitos. Oh my goodness, <laughs> you want a tequila company? Okay, maybe not. So Mateo is an extremely social dog. He loves other dogs. And we've known that about him since the day that we adopted him. We have friends that have dogs, but we only see them periodically. And other than that, we really don't have a lot of dogs in our life. And we noticed that when we would camp with friends, he would run around with all the dogs. And then once it came time to leave, Mateo would get really sad. He'd get really lonely and kind of down for a few days and it would just break our hearts. And that's kind of what sparked our thought 
that Mateo might like to have a little companion. Just a friend who would always be there and wouldn't be coming and going like all our friend's dogs. He's right. asleep again. I swear this guy has buttons in his paws that when you pick him up, he goes to sleep. He does. He definitely just goes, all right, I guess I, no, I'm good. <laughs> I think he feels safe. Mateo is about four and a half and we adopted him when he was one. We didn't want to wait too long to get a second dog because it can be difficult to introduce a new dog to your current dog if they're older, very comfortable, set in their ways. So we wanted to make sure we did it when Mateo was still young enough to accept a little friend into the bus. Initially, we thought that we would wait to get a second dog. We have a very big project coming up later this summer, and we kind of put the second dog thing on the back burner, but then I was just conveniently, casually scrolling Pet Finder, and I saw this picture of Pablo. Just look at this adoption photo. This right here is Mateo's adoption photo, and this is Pablo's. I absolutely could not pass up going to look at Pablo. He just stole my heart. Those desperate little eyes, he was adorable and it was impossible for us to not go meet him. So I called the number that was on his profile. They said we could come meet him the next day and that we should bring Mateo to meet him as well. That's when we learned that Pablo was in the county jail. He's a criminal. He was literally in human jail. But the cool part about it is that Pablo was part of a program where inmates will rehabilitate animals that had been seized by the sheriff's office. The sheriff's office is involved in cases of animal abuse, neglect, hoarding, dog fighting, and any time that they seize animals from a situation like that, they created a program where they could bring them back to the jail and then inmates would rehabilitate, socialize, and train the animals so that they could then be more well-rounded animals and they can be placed in homes. That means if you don't behave, you're going back to jail. So you better mind your P's and Q's around here, bud, we otherwise you're never... going back to the clink. So yeah, we literally showed up at jail and we brought Mateo with us. Here he is waiting to meet his new best friend. We actually met several dogs from this program, but as soon as Mateo met Pablo, it was over. They bonded instantly. They even took Pablo away at one point so that we could better interact with the other dogs. And Mateo just went over to the door and whined until they brought Pablo back out. It was like no other dogs existed once Pablo came out. They were just playing and running around the room together. So I truly think that Mateo chose Pablo. I think Pablo basically knew uh, it was his one shot to get out of jail. Maybe not his one shot, but he seemed like he knew like, I gotta go home with these people. He was just jumping into your arms. He all but climbed up my leg into my arms, just like this. He wanted to be held. He wanted to be cuddled. He wanted to play with Mateo. It was like he knew that we were his family and he was not taking no for an answer. This is where we learned that Pablo was a part of a hoarding situation with 150 animals that were seized by the sheriff's office. Our vet thinks that he is about eight months to a year old and he'd been at the jail for about six months. So if you do the math, we kind of think that he was born into this hoarding situation. So he's just a young little guy and most of his life that he's known thus far was inside the jail. We actually got to meet the inmate that rehabilitated him so that she could say goodbye. And it was really cool to see the program that they have there and how it's benefiting not only the animals, but also the inmates. Because Pablo is such a sweet, sweet dog and he probably wouldn't have had a second chance at life if it wasn't for that program. So we made it official and we broke Pablo out of jail. Busted you out of the clink. We did. We got you. As soon as we got him out of the jail, he just loved riding in the car. We rolled down the window for him and he sat next to Mateo looking out the window. It was really heartwarming to see the two of them together and see Pablo's first moments of freedom. Yeah, he's definitely taking to riding in the cab right away. He 
Pretty typical dog wants to stick his head out the window and smell everything. And pretty much immediately, we just went into our new daily life with Pablo and Mateo. Pablo loves cuddling. Mateo taught him how to sleep under the covers. Mm. And Pablo pretty much just wants to snuggle. He's definitely a lap dog. If he's not playing with Mateo, he wants to be on your lap cuddling. And of course, we just want to give him all the love we have to give. He's had a bit of a rough start to life. So we just want to make his life all that it can be. And he seems to be settling in really well. You can tell he's pretty young and doesn't have a lot of experience like walking on the leash. Obviously they were taking him out at the jail on the sidewalk. So he seems pretty comfortable when we're in a city walking on the sidewalk. But when we got him onto like a dirt trail, he seemed a little bit uh, hesitant to really walk on the leash. I think maybe just because he was only walking out on the sidewalk when they were taking him for walks. So he's getting used to it now. Dogs from hoarding situations can have a lot of very specific issues, but like we said, we think he was born there. He was so young when he was rescued. Most of what he's known has been that program at the jail. So we haven't been seeing any of those typical behavioral issues. So far he's been really great and I think just wants to be loved. We anticipated a few tough moments with having Mateo and Pablo both in the same space, just the two of them getting used to each other, but we were actually really pleasantly surprised. I think because Mateo picked Pablo out at the shelter, he was just really comfortable with him. Pablo slept in our bed with us the first night. They eat together, they sleep together, they get the zoomies around camp, they nap. They even started cuddling together in the last few weeks. It's been really, really heartwarming to see Pablo open up. And if you've ever rescued a dog, you know that it takes a little bit of time for them to open up, get comfortable, gain confidence, and kind of see their little personality. He brings the perfect amount of energy to to Mateo so that Mateo's not bored and he always has a friend to play with. It is just playtime 24 seven and then it's nap time and then we just rinse and repeat. It's just playtime, nap time, playtime, nap time. It can be a little bit intense with both of them in here, especially in the morning when I'm still trying to sleep and they decide to wrestle on top of me. It's like, dude, go use the couch or the floor <laughs> or the cab, but nope, just, throwing their bodies all over you and it's like, go away. <laughs> they are ridiculous together. It's so funny to watch them play because they're exactly the same size and they play exactly the same way. So it's actually really entertaining to watch how they play and they sneeze at each other and chase each other around. But yeah, the playtime, nap time cycle just never ends. Because of the circumstances that Pablo was born into and then kind of living most of his life at the jail, we think that there was a lot of typical dog things that he never learned how to do. Like he wouldn't lift his leg to pee. <laughs> he had no idea what the chewy toothbrush treats were. He just could not comprehend them. And every time we gave him even a little training treat, he would take it and stash it away somewhere. There was just a bunch of these things over time that weren't big behavioral issues, but were just kind of quirky little things that he would do. And we then noticed that Pablo would always be watching Mateo, and then he would copy what Mateo did. So he learned a lot in those first few weeks just from watching and copying Mateo. And a lot of those strange little things that we noticed at first kind of worked themselves out. I think just because Pablo had a little role model. So not only did Mateo need a friend, but Pablo needed a big brother too. I think they kind of needed each other. We made Pablo officially part of the family when we got him his own little name tag and orange harness that matches Mateo's. It is so cute to see them together. One's blue, one's orange. They look like little go-karts racing around <laughs> out there. You're official now. You're officially part of the fam. All right, guys, that wraps it up. Just a fun little update of what we've been up to. This guy moving in. Now I got another roommate. It's getting a little crazy, but <laughs> it's, uh, it's working and they're getting along. So 
We're gonna see what kind of adventures they can get into. This begins the adventures of Dos Hermanos, Mateo, and Pablo. You'll be seeing a lot more of this guy in future videos. He's got a whole new chance at life. Say hello to Pablo in the comments section. Welcome him to YouTube with his very first video. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Say bye. Hasta luego. Bye. We'll see you next time.